perfect. what's up guys welcome back to the channel as you can see in today's video we have a brand new build for the channel it's a 2023 cf model 300 ss it's the first time i've worked on this brand and i'm eager to see exactly how easy or how hard it's going to be this bike is not terribly damaged it is going to be one of the more easier rebuilds i've had on the channel as you can see all the friends almost all the friends on this side is really good there's no damage no scuffs no scratches to any of the pegs which is very unusual for us because it's usually really bad. The ties, swing arm, everything's all okay. Even the stock license plate mounts is all okay. On the right side of the motorcycle, everything is all okay. Like I said, no scratches, no scuffs. Everything is all looking good over here. We do have some cracked fairings up here. I'm guessing it's from the rider being slammed into the gas tank. All of these are plastic, so that's easy. We have a crack over here. We have multiple cracks over here, as you can see. The top cover is all cracked up in multiple locations over here. And same for the left cover, there's a hairline crack over here. We have some cracks down there and more cracks over here. So nothing really, really bad. The main damage on this bike is all front end. You can see where all the damage is. The headlights is destroyed, the front fairings, the side fairings all destroyed. This uh, running lamp appears to be okay. Uh, the front fender is also cracked, as you can see over here, it's broken. Uh, same for the fairings on this side over here, multiple damage. We do have a scuff mark on the mirrors over here, but I think this is going to come out no problem. The fairings stay on the inside is also damaged, there's multiple cracks as you can obviously see. So it's all mostly front end, which is not bad at all. Luckily the wheel appears to be okay, I've spun this multiple times and it appears to be straight and true, so that's really really good. Because I can tell you for a fact that finding parts for this bike is terribly terribly difficult. I've had this bike for a few months, I think about 5 months at this point and, and finding parts has been a nightmare. Luckily at this point I think I have almost all the parts here, so we're just going to dive into this video guys. There's going to be only one video for the entire rebuild process, it's not going to be parts because it's very very small and I can knock this out as quickly as possible now there's only one reason why i bought this bike and i'm going to show you guys this bike is pretty much brand new i'm going to show you the mileage on the bike if it's going to come on that is the mileage 777 kilometers super low the bike is not even fully broken in yet and then this rider obviously did some damage to it but we have the bike here we're going to restore it obviously like we do every other bike we have on the channel it also has a nice digital dash, which is one of the best I've seen on any motorcycles, to be sincere. really like it, very straightforward. Actually, I don't think it's the best. The one on the Triumph 765, we just recently rebuilt, is actually way better. But this is not bad for a budget motorcycle. Kawasaki needs to learn a thing or two from CF Moto. So, I've had this bike on the charger for a while, but still no juice. I think the battery is gone on this bike. So, I'm going to start by replacing the battery. Now we can get into taking care of things on the front end. we have the old battery out now now the new battery is going in now with the new battery installed I'm gonna secure this now with the battery fully secured we're gonna install the seats back and now let's try the starter out Yeah, the fuel pump prime. I 
as you can obviously hear, the bike sounds really, really good. No problem starting, which is what I kind of expected. So now, let's dive into this bike. And now I have the lower clip out. Now the spurns off. Then we have this fur enough. And then this front frame piece is off. So far, as you can see, I'm making really good progress taking apart the CF Moto. But the one thing I hate about this bike so far is the mismatch hardware. You got a 10 millimeter over here, then you go over here, you got a five mil Allen. Why not just keep it the same? Now I have this piece off. And we have this piece off. And now I have this piece off the motorcycle. And now I have the destroyed headlight of the motorcycle. It's literally split in half. That's crazy. Now we should be ready to pop off this train stay. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the dash. And uh, as you can see, we have the complete damage fairing stay of the motorcycle. All right, guys, as you can see, these are all the parts we've removed from the CF Modo 300 SS. It's crazy how much parts came off this bike. There is a lot of little stuff over here, and the bike is looking completely naked. It's quite filthy, considering we just gave it a wash. But obviously, we cannot get to these areas with all the body kits on. So what I'm going to do is pull the bike outside. I'm going to give it a proper wash again, and hopefully get it cleaner than it currently is. Because right now, it is just straight up nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. So let's get this bike outside. Give it a quick wash a few moments later all right guys as you can see i've cleaned this up a little bit and it's looking obviously way way better than it did before um, so now i'm gonna go inside and show you all the parts i've ordered for this bike um if i did not say this already it was a pain fighting parts for this bike because there's absolutely nothing available used or aftermarket everything had to be purchased brand new from cf moto and that took a while to come true 
So over in these three boxes over here, we have all the parts I currently believe should be enough to put this bike back to OEM standards. Obviously, this is just going by what I could see before taking the bike apart. And I hope I have everything here. If I do not have everything yet, this video is going to get delayed even longer because I got to wait to get everything together. My goal is to have only one video on this bike. So now let's talk about all the parts that I received. The first part over here is going to be the headlight, I believe. Yeah, headlight over here. Obviously in a way better condition than the one we removed from the motorcycle because that one was completely destroyed. So this is good. All right, guys, and there you have it. This is all the new parts that was ordered. We have the front fairing stay with the dash insert. We have the fuel tank uh, fairing over there. We have the front fender, both side fairings, the fuel tank fairing, front nose fairing, and a brand new headlight. Like I already mentioned, fingers crossed, this is all the parts we need to complete this bike and that we can get this build done once and for all. So now the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the dash from the damaged piece over here. Now I have the dash out. And now with the headlight fully assembled, we're gonna go ahead and install it on the bike. Now I'm just putting in the hardware. I'm going to secure the top bolt. Now I'm going to secure the headlight. Same thing on this side. Now it's fully secured. And in here I'm going to connect the headlights. I'm also gonna head and secure this with a zip tie. Now I'm gonna go ahead and route the running lights. I got one for this side and the second one for this side. And now over here I have the brand new fairing stay instrument cluster brackets. And now I'm gonna go ahead and install the dash and secure it in place. Now I'm ready to install this piece. Now I'm gonna connect the dash. Now I'm gonna secure the instrument cluster brackets. And same thing on this side. So now before we get too carried away, now is the perfect time just to make sure everything's working the way it should. That's good, the dash lights up. The headlight lights up. That's good. We're going to try out the high beam. High beam works, low beam, excellent. So really, really good progress. Let's keep doing it. All right, guys, now as you can see, the front fairing is fully on. Everything is looking good over here. I'm going to go ahead and install the front windshield and we can start building things out on both sides. So now I'm going to install the windshield. So at this point, I'll go ahead and install this side fairing over here. As you can see, it's quite dirty, so I'm gonna clean it up first. So with a little bit of editing, it's gonna be done now. So as you can see, it's all cleaned up. We're ready to fully secure it on the bike. Installing the clips. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install the rectifier. And now I'm gonna install the side fairing on this side.
So now I'm gonna go ahead and fit on the side fairing over here. And now I have the brand new side fairing with the lights installed in it. We're gonna go ahead and connect it up and secure it to this side of the motorcycle. Now I'm gonna secure it in place. Now we're ready to install the side fairing piece. First I'm gonna go ahead and connect the turn signal. Like so. I'm gonna secure the cable. Now I can mount the fairing kit. So now we're looking pretty good on the right side of the motorcycle. I'm now going to go over to the left side of the motorcycle and then I'm going to start installing some more fairings on this side. All right, guys, making really good progress. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the tank ferry. It is one of the last major pieces that's gonna go on this bike. And now the final piece is this top piece over here. I'm gonna go ahead and secure it on the inside. Now I'm gonna install this ferry piece. First, I'm gonna connect the turn signal. That's good. Secure the wiring. Now we're ready to install this piece. Now as you can see guys, we have this side fairing on completely and secured. We are missing one piece like I already mentioned, or maybe I haven't mentioned it, but we are missing a piece that goes right over here. Really unfortunately, because I was really hoping that we're going to have everything to put this bike together. But uh, I've contacted the supplier. I'm waiting for that piece to come in. I might still put out this video the way it is and throw this piece at a later time when it does come in. Really depends on uh, how it actually goes. But on that note, the next part we're going to throw on the bike is going to be the front fender. As you can see, it's cracked over here. We're going to go ahead and replace that piece real quickly. And then we can toss on the tank fairing. So we have some reflectors to install, obviously just to be DOT certified. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. We have one for this side. That looks good. And uh, we're gonna install the reflector on this other side. Now we have the fender off. We're gonna go ahead and separate this piece. And then we can reinstall the fender. Now we have the damaged piece off. Now installing the fender. Yeah. <laughs> 
so now i've done a whole bunch of work on the cf model 300 ss i'm gonna go ahead and do the most basic thing you can do which is an oil change like i showed you guys this vehicle currently has 777 kilometers which is obviously past the braking mileage i'm not sure if the first oil change has been done on this bikes so we're gonna go ahead and do one just to be safe so first obviously i'm gonna warm up the bike get that oil nice and hot so you can come out quickly i'm gonna start it up Bikes running, got the on it. Now the drain plug for this motorcycle is located right on the left side of the bike. And that's it over there. Not the greatest design because as you can see, we have the exhaust muffler right over there. So if you get any oil on this, it's going to be smoking. So we're going to try to fit something over there and try to get it to drain right into the drain pan over here. I don't know how effective this is going to be, but we're going to give it a shot. So have that over there. I can just get to the drain plug over here. And it should theoretically just drain that way. Really? Ah, we still got it on the exhaust, but not bad. Draining from two different locations. Right over here, right over here. Could be worse. Looks like we have lots of metal over here. This is the braking mileage, so it's not terribly bad. All right, now most of the oil is out of the motorcycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and we can reinstall the drain plug. And now the drain plug is fully installed. We're gonna clean it up one more time. Looking good. I'm gonna remove the paper I put in place. And we have the oil filter out. We have our brand new one over here. I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the motorcycle. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the mess. Now I'm gonna start adding some engine oil. And now I've added enough engine oil. I'm gonna go ahead and start the motorcycle. Obviously this is going to drop a little bit and then we're going to top it up then. Now as you can see the oil level is dropped. The oil is going to slowly come back up and then we're going to top it up. Now as you can see I've topped up the engine oil to the specified level. We're going to go ahead and reinstall the fairing piece that goes over here. And one more thing that's going to get done is adjusting the chain. Same thing on this side. Just like that guys, I am currently done working on the 2023 CF Moto 300 SS. It was a lot of work working on this bike because it's very very different from the every other bike I've worked on. The way it was put together, very very different. But I'm super happy, everything turned out really really good. Please sure you're gonna agree with me, the bike looks excellent. Very very nice design. So that ready, we're currently missing the piece that goes over here. Whenever that comes in, I'm gonna throw it in.
Alrighty guys, for those of you who watched the videos till the very end, I now have the parts in to complete the CF model. Let's get to it. All right, and here they are. I've unboxed these two over here, which is this one, and then we have the final piece over there. So let's throw it on. I'm gonna open up this piece. I will just receive. And we have this beauty in here. Now I'm gonna secure this piece. And there we have it, guys. It's looking beautiful. Everything is the way it should be. That trim really ties things together in the front end. On that note, that's a wrap for this rebuild. This was a really, really nice one. Very quick, very straightforward. No hidden damage, nothing scary. So we got lucky on this one. Be sure to hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe. Go check out some of the other videos on the channel. There's some really good stuff out there. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.